Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at how to use the iPad 2. This episode, we're going to talk about using iMovie, one of the new feature applications that's designed for use on the iPad 2. Now, if you're a Mac user, you may already be familiar with the iMovie name. It's a software package on the uh, Macintosh that allows you to edit together movies using clips that you bring in from video cameras. Now, with the addition of cameras onto the iPad 2 itself, it actually makes it an all-in-one device. You can actually shoot and edit on this using iMovie. Now, iMovie doesn't actually come with the iPad 2. You'll have to actually add that in. So you'll do a search for it on the App Store, and it'll cost you $4.99 to add it in. Once it's installed, you'll just fire it up by tapping on the icon. The first thing you'll see is a marquee-like menu system. To start a new project, you'll tap on the plus sign. Now, if you've already synced over some of your video footage from your computer when you sync the iPad 2, that should be available here for use in the iPad 2 iMovie application. But you can actually shoot as well using the cameras built right in. As you add video footage to the project, it'll appear in the upper left-hand pane. You can tap on these items in the upper left-hand pane to add it to the timeline, which is at the bottom of the screen. You can use your finger to swipe along the timeline at the bottom of the screen. As you do that, you'll see the video changing in the upper right-hand pane, which is your preview window. To shoot a video right from within iMovie, tap on the camera icon. Then, press the record button to start the recording. Shoot the video you want to shoot, and then when you're done, press the record button again. If you're happy with the video just shot, click Use to use that video. It's then put directly into your timeline. Now when you tap on one of the video clips in the timeline at the bottom, little handles will appear above the video clip. You can actually tap on one of these with your finger and shorten the clip to just the section you want. This means you don't actually have to use absolutely every bit of video that you shot, you can actually edit it. Now if you have a lot of video in the timeline at the bottom, you can actually change the scale of your timeline by using the pinch zoom functionality. Now if there's a clip in the timeline that you want to remove entirely, you can tap and hold it and then drag it up out and you'll see a little puff of smoke as it disappears from your timeline. Now if you have more than one clip in the timeline, you'll see a little transition icon between those two clips and this will indicate how they'll transition from one to the other when it runs between the two in the final version of the video. You can tap on the transition icon to bring up a few different options for transitions. When you've edited the video to your liking, you can go back to the projects window to see all of the different projects you have in there. And then if you want, you can start a new project, or you can share the one you've just created with your friends using the share icon, or you can import other footage from iTunes if you want. Now you can use the share icon here to send the entire project that you've been working on over to your computer, and you can share that again with other iPads, or if you're on a Mac, you can share that in iMovie on the computer itself. Now we're going to take a better look at iMovie and a full series on this on how to use iMovie, including everything you need to know on how to make it work. This is just a broad overview of it. You can check out the other parts in this series about other ways that you can use the iPad too. You can check out the show notes for this part and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.